Hello everyone, so welcome back to the level of coding. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the Firebase emulator, how it's gonna solve the development problems and security problem as well. So as you can see right here, this is the what's the problem that I'm facing. And uh, as you can see, we have the Firebase that I initial new projects. It is on a cloud and then I have my development environment and my production. So what I usually do with this one is that, uh, so for my development, I used to like the config from productions. So to test that, I have to make a request to the Firebase from the cloud and back and forth right here, so you can see. And so let's say when we test with Firestore, I'm gonna add data to uh, this one as well. And the problems coming in is when I deploy my code here to productions and my productions using the same things, right? So you can see. Uh, my production is using the same things, uh, the communication between back and forth between this one. So what happened is that when I development, I might add some code and change some things, mess up, delete some data uh, of the production right here. So this is not a really good. And for the security purpose, uh, uh, one more is that uh, when I deploy to production, I have to cut all the communication from uh, this one because uh, we might get like someone steal our config and then we have to uh, set up this one so to that other allow Cloud Firestore uh, or Firebase to talk to our production environments only. So that is the pain uh, that I uh, face. So uh, right here, so to solve this problems, um, I just just cower and I, I, I just know that a Firebase um, released this really long time ago that you can run the Firebase on the local environment. Uh, so right now on local. So what it, this one will do is um, instead of for, for the, the environment, so instead of talking to the Firebase on the clouds, we're just talking to the Firebase on the local environment because it is the emulator that emulate everything from the uh, clouds, including the um, authentication, Cloud Firestore and the cloud function as well. So this is really nice. And then um, I can write test breaks and test my security rules on my Firebase local. And after that, I can deploy uh, to my Cloud Firestore. So the deploy right here, just like, okay, I deploy the security rules or something like that. Security rules or, um, or, uh, or more. So mainly I use this one to communicate to just two deploys. But for testing, um, like the collections and store data, I can just do my Firebase on the local. And then when I deploy to productions, this too is communication. So the security risk um, is going to be real. It's going to be great. And uh, we're going to have blocks uh, from the local host to connect to our cloud fire, uh, like the fire store on, uh, on a cloud, uh, limited only to talk to production only. So this is what uh, Firebase emulator uh can solve my problem it's my uh, it's i hope it's gonna solve your problem as well and actually let's take 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 a look at the code so as you can see right here i have my vs code with the create react app so and the moment i go ahead and write all the function right right here just um uh, create the function to set the data to cloud fire store and also this one is uh doing the authentication and also this is the Firebase config that I have right here. The problem that we have it's right now, it's that this, uh, the OS and the DB right here from Firestore is talking uh, to the Cloud, Fire, uh, Cloud Firestore on the, on the cloud. So whenever I run the, this functions, it's gonna add data to that. So which we, we don't want. So we're gonna do and test it on our local environment, okay? So first, uh, you can do start by doing Firebase login. So you can because you might have different accounts. So right here, I use uh, this account. So let's actually add a new account, new Firebase login. You can add a new account as well. So let's do add right here. It's gonna open you. This is my testing email right here. All right. Okay, cool. So now it's uh, successfully and we go back it's successfully as well. And then next is you're going to do Firebase init. So when you init right here, it's going to. All right, 
cool so then you can choose the right here you can choose the emulator you can uh, use the arrow down and then you can select by press space to select and then this right here you can see we have different accounts so you can select the account that you want so i'm gonna select this account right here and all right hopefully you can see it yeah so right now we can use the uh, existing project i'll create a new i'm gonna use existing projects for this one and you can yeah choose any project so i have a lot of project right here i'm gonna choose one random project to show this one so this is the emulator that we want so which um emulator that we wanted to run so in our case we wanted to run the authentications and the other one is going to be cloud fire store if you do like the cloud function you can select that once again up arrow and select press space so authentication and space this one for fire store okay so now that's done you can press enter yep so you can leave everything right here that's default just press enter enter and enable emulator ui yes we want that and yep press enter and also we want that as well i'm gonna do yes so right now everything init initial uh successfully i'm gonna clear this one so let's take a look what's happening so right here it's gonna create a uh, firebase json right here that's gonna tell us the port so when i try to run this one it's i face some problem so i need to add the one more key it's gonna be in host so what i can do is gonna be something like this on the local okay so i can do like this one and then i can do something like this okay i hit save so right now we are uh, the host right here is just a local host so that's why we do something like this uh if you don't it it uh you can you can try first if it it's work it's okay but for me it doesn't work so right now after we do this everything's ready we can just do firebase emulators and then we can do start and right now it's starting our firebase emulator it's gonna take a while uh maybe i have already installed some of the things it's gonna be faster but in your case might be a little bit longer or you your, or you have to download anything something so right here it uh, show us the ui and this is authentication port this is firestore port but let's take a look at the ui right here so we can go back here you can go to local host and uh, port this is gonna be 4000 so as you can see right here this is the similar things as the firebase and yeah so this is a cloud fire store and things like that all right so right now let's write our code to connect to this one so look so for that we need to go back into our config right here and then so instead of doing this one uh what we can do is we try so let's say if the uh process dot env dot notes env equal to development so we wanted to know okay if it's in the development mode we wanted to change some things okay so right here i'm going to copy this one else if it's in production we're going to do this uh let's actually delete the let's right here and then we're going to delete this one as well okay we declare as the uh variable right here and we're going to do some things to it for this one so for the auth right here we're going to do the same thing but we do not pass the initialize apps so you can see we initialize the apps we pass it to here but in this case we do not pass the app into our this one the next thing is we need to connect the auth and the db to the stimulator so for that we can create we can use the function connects auth emulator and then you can pass the auth right here the next thing is you can hover you can see that we need the url right here and the url you can see we have this we can get from this one so the url is going to be http uh, local host uh, and then the port is going to be 90 this one you can see that's it and for cloud firestore we can do one more this is going to be a little bit different so we're going to do connects um firestore emulator it's auto import for me guys this one and now we need to pass as a db and this one is a little bit different because it's need the host and the port so the host first is going to be the string of the local host and the port is going to be 8080 and as you can see right here okay cool so that's pretty much it and for this i'm going to restart my server i but you know just to make sure that everything is running properly
Okay, so right now it's uh, restarting everything right here. So let's actually try to log in right here. So when I do log in, so you can see this is the things from the emulator. You can add a, uh, and then you can add auto generate right here. You don't have to type anything, and you can click sign in. When we going back, uh, also I do console lock. So as you can see we uh, we successfully log in as this user. Because if you look at the code right here, after we successfully log in, we can do it right here. Yeah, so you can do anything with the Firebase on the cloud and also on the emulator right here. And you can see on the UI, if you refresh this one, you can see we have this uh, user right here. Very nice. So the next thing is we're going to take a look at the Cloud Firestore. We're going to add the data. So I'm going to click here. I didn't do any loading state or anything. Um, so if you look at the code, when it's success, it's going to console a lock as well. All right, so I think ah, I think I console the locks uh something different. So I should it should be done, but the console lock that I lock is wrong. That's why I show this one. But anyway, uh, if you look at the Cloudfire store right here, so you can see it's starting. We have the uh, city and the data is gonna be here because we put this data right here. Um, for my experience, it's gonna be a little bit slow. Um, because there's I'm not sure why. But yeah, but it, 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 it is a little bit slow. Yep, so as you can see right here, that's how you do it. So when you do on production, when you on builds, the Firebase config right here, it's gonna talk to the in reals um, Firebase, but on the local, we just do something like this when our, on our development mode. Okay, great. Um, Yeah, so I think that, that's all that I wanted to share. Okay, and the last thing as well, the problem is with this one is, so we do not have a user. So let's say if I can stop this one and I start it again. Okay, so right now it started again. So I just restart our server. So if if I refresh this one, so you can see uh, the data that we have, the user that we create, it's gone. So we wanted to have the data and yeah, so we, we, we want it, right? So to do that, um, I'm going to close this one again. So, uh, what you can do, you can do start and then you can do exports. Um, let's say on exits. Uh, export on exit is going to be equal to the path that you want to export. So I want to do, let's say, seats right here. Um, okay, this is wrong. So let's see actually what is, what is happening. Uh, I think, yeah. So I'm spelled the export wrong. So this is a script that I have right here. Okay, so right now it's running. All right, so right now it's running right here. So let's actually do it again. So I'm refresh this one. I actually lock in with the Google again. Right here, we create a user and then booms, we refresh, we have this user. And then let's actually close the server because when we do, we export exits right here. That's it. It's doing when we close, it's going to doing the, uh, this one. So right now, if we going to back, we have the folder called seat. And then we, when we start, we can start to, when we start the emulator, we can import this one right here. So we can do the import right here and yep. So right now we start and then we import the data. So, okay, uh, it disconnects. So wait for it. So right now it's done. So if we refresh, so as you can see, we have our user already created. And because if we, when we start, we import the seeds right here. Yeah, so that is that is pretty much it. So you can do like this one is on exit. So it's mean that right now, um, yeah. So you can start that and then also you, while it's running, you can also run the Firebase uh, export as well to export the current data. So we can just do something like this. You just remove the exit right here. You can just do this one. Uh, it's gonna export all your current data right here, okay? So make sure you have to, you do that. Otherwise your data is gonna be lost. Maybe there's a lot more that we can take a look on this one uh such as uh, security rules and things like that uh, but we're gonna do that in the next next video um so yep i think that is pretty much guys that's how i wanted to show you uh let me know in the comments um what do you think about this one see you in, in the next video
Peace.